jump scare <laughs> today i'm gonna be doing an in-depth updated daily makeup tutorial that was a lot of words um somebody on tiktok asked like for a makeup tutorial and i went to reply to them and be like oh i have one on youtube but then i realized that was like a couple months ago and i've already changed how i do my makeup since then so it wouldn't have been accurate so we're updating it honestly i change how i do my makeup like every three months because i just get really sick of what i look like or i just get like really restless about it and like want to change something and i have to leave my hair alone so i just change how i do my makeup instead yes my forehead is big leave me alone also yes this is a picture of me on my shirt moving on okay every time i go to do my makeup i forget how i do it and have to just sit and stare into my makeup bag and wait for the answers to come to me I also feel like every single time that I do my makeup on camera or I'm like filming the process, it turns out not very good. So, fingers crossed. Okay, first I take the, oh my god, this has seen better days, look at that. I'm gonna do the beauty influencer hand thing. Ha! <laughs> anyway, um, it is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, but I'm not putting it under my eyes. I'm just gonna put it on my eyelids and then just like pat it in because I feel like my eyelids are dark. I don't know, I feel like I always just kind of look like I have a black eye at all times. So this is just a good starting point. I'm not very precise about it, obviously. <laughs> Next is eyebrows, and you're all going to be very proud of me. If you've watched any of my other makeup tutorials, you know that I used to do my eyebrows every single day with glue. Every day. Glue. Which is fine for like cosplay and for like blocking your eyebrows, but doing it every day probably wasn't great for my eyebrows or for my skin. But I've been using- and oh, this is so dirty and gross. I'm sorry. This- I'm gonna show it to you, but like, I'm sorry. It's the Got To Be Brow Gel. I used this before, and I said that it didn't work. Like, it didn't hold my brow hairs up, but I think the problem was is I was just trying to stick my eyebrow hair straight up. Like, straight up. Which I was doing on purpose, by the way. It's the look I was going for. I'm not sure why, but it is, and I'm not trying to do that now. So now it works for what I want it to work for, and I don't have to use glue every day. Hallelujah. I'm just gonna take some toilet paper real quick and make sure there's no, like, skincare or anything left in my eyebrows. Oh, before I started all of this, I did put on moisturizer and SPF. Prep your skin. That's very important. I'd argue that, like, prepping your skin might be the most important part of makeup, because if you don't prep your skin, the products you use don't matter, because it's just not going to look good. Also, SPF is so important. Please wear sunscreen. Um, and then I just gel my eyebrows, which is pretty self-explanatory. Oh god. I always forget to turn my furnace off, and it's so loud. And then I just let that sit, let it dry a little bit. That rhymed. I did a Get Ready With Me video, like, very recently. I'm pretty sure, like, two videos ago. So this feels kind of repetitive, but I didn't, like, talk about the steps of my makeup. I was just, like, doing my makeup while talking about other things. So this does low-key feel like just doing the same video, or at least I feel like you guys are gonna- you guys are gonna feel like I'm just, like, posting the same content, but it is different, because this is a tutorial. Um, I have this eyeliner slash brow pencil. I use it as an eyeliner. It's LA Colors. It's black. I don't care about brand very much. I probably should, because I feel like a lot of them do smudge, but, um, I just buy whatever I can get my hands on for the most part. And this is, this came with a mascara and I was out of mascara, so I just bought them together for like two dollars. And then I just tight line with this. I need to take the cover off because it's insane. I tight line my upper lash line on both eyes with this. I don't know that I can do that on camera. It's a tedious process. Jesus, loud ass truck. I'm feeling a little itchy, a little antsy today, because I did convince myself that there was ants in my ears. For no reason other than the fact that I got an itch in my ear right after I had seen an ant outside, and now I'm just convinced they're living in there. So. My eyebrows aren't totally dry yet. Because my next step is going to be to like fill in the sparse areas, but I have to wait for them to dry more. We'll put on some primer while we wait. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I'm like almost completely out of it. Like, wow. 
And I just put that where my face is especially porous. So just like right here. And then, and then my chin sometimes. Sometimes I put it on my forehead too, but I often forget and I don't usually do that before I do my eyebrows. Just because I feel like it'll get in the way. Even though that doesn't make sense. Alright, these bad boys are pretty dry. So now I'm going to take the... NYX Professional Makeup Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. It's like... Very fine point. Mine leaks though. I've never had one that didn't leak. And then I just kind of like fill in some of the areas with quick little hair-like strokes. And I'll sometimes add some hairs to the front because I feel like my eyebrows are too far apart. I wish more than anything that I had a unibrow. I'm gonna be so honest with you. And they're not even and that's okay. Make your peace with it. I did. And then I'm just gonna spot conceal. I'm like almost completely out of this. This is like very dried up and very empty. I do desperately need a new one, but it is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I just take this little grimy brush. Yeah, there's like no product left in this. I'm really just doing this. It's like a placebo. Like nothing is coming off of this girl. And then I just cover up my little, little acne scars or current blemishes. And then I'll just like wipe whatever excess is left on my fingers and then like just wipe it under my eyes like this. I don't know that this does anything, but that's okay. Also, I don't blend out my spot concealing whatsoever. Then we're just gonna spray it with some setting spray, which is watered down because I refilled it with water when it got low. <laughs> but I'm delusional in the sense that I do believe that water does the same thing. I do. You know some makeup companies just sell water in like this? Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes I put a little powder on my eyelids because I put concealer on them and like my eyelids are so oily. Like I swear to god, my eyelids are like sweaty all the time. And I go back in with my little eyeliner pencil. And sometimes I fix some of the tight lining if it's like faded at all already. Um, and then I'll usually add a little bit around, like, the outer corner of my eyes, like, near the lash line. Which is gonna be, like, a base for where I put the wing. My eyes watering. Perfect. And then, speaking of the wing, that is what I do next, if I can find my eyeliner. Okay, this is also LA Colors. Again, I'm not loyal to a brand. I do tend to prefer the NYX Epic Wear liners. But mine are all dried out right now, so. I like colors. Now, I don't have any specific advice on how to do a wing. Mine have never been even a day in my life. I'm winging it every time. No pun intended. I really didn't mean... I... Anyway, I just go from the corner of my eye and then I'll, like, turn my head to, like... Yeah. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. We can save that. Cool. And then I just connect it from, like, not all the way at the end, because I want it to be, like, kind of sharper, so I'll go, like, a little bit more towards the middle and then connect it. Jesus Christ. Whew. Really not good. That's really bad not good, actually. Is that a great wing? No. Is it the worst wing I've ever done? Also, no. I was gonna say now to make them even. Uh, like I said before, that's not happening. So now to do the other side. Oh my god. I promise you I can do good wings. I don't know what's happening. I used to do winged eyeliner every day and then I stopped for like a year. Because I was doing the stars instead. And coming back to it has been harder than I anticipated. I thought it was muscle memory. I thought it was riding a bike. It's not. I'm not convinced I still know how to ride a bike either. I do feel like that's a lie. I haven't ridden a bike in a long time and I don't think I could if I tried. I don't know what it is about doing my makeup on camera that suddenly takes away all ability I have to do makeup, but it's okay. We just won't let anybody get super close to our face today. Um, currently I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm also not super loyal to a foundation brand. I actually kind of want to like get like a CC cream instead of a foundation because I just feel like foundation is too heavy. Especially because it's almost summer. I just put this everywhere. And then I take a sponge. A damp sponge. Not soaking wet, not dry, damp. And just 
go from the middle out. And then it's concealer time, and we go back to our Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Um, this time I'm just going to put it like right here, and here, and then here, a little bit on both sides. And then on my chin, and then I put like one really, really light line down my nose, but I immediately blend that one out. I don't blend any of this immediately. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit so that it's like more coverage. I don't know, I heard somebody say that once, and I believed them. Because everything you see on the internet is real. Another round of <laughs> setting spray. And then I'm just gonna let this sit for a couple of moments. Have you seen that girl on TikTok who like thinks that Degas, the painter, was Jack the Ripper? Because it's all I've been able to think about for the past few days. And I like went down her little rabbit hole and I swear to God, I'm a little convinced and I kind of want to make a YouTube video about it. Because I did that Sims lore deep dive video and realized that I love doing little deep dives. Anyway, while I wait for this to sit, I brush my lips with this little tiny baby toothbrush just to get any of the like dead skin and like, like encourage blood flow so that they're not the same color as my skin. Okay, then I'm gonna blend out my concealer also with a damp sponge. Okay, next I do my contour, which I currently use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Amber. Um, however, once this runs out, I'm gonna use something else. I don't know what yet, but... And it's like, basically run out. So instead of just like applying it directly to my face, which I can't because the product doesn't come past the like, packaging, I just spray it with my setting spray, and then I take this little brush and just get it all up in there and then I apply this to my face I just take it like right on my cheekbone right here make sure to blend it up only and into my hairline and then I do like I take like the back of it like the heel of the brush and then like right under my eye where the bottom of my cheekbone is so like here I'll put like a little a little bit right there and then again I only blend up and I do that on both sides and it seems kind of harsh at first, but once we get to the powder stage, it's less aggressive, I swear. And then I also put it, like, on my forehead near my hairline. Okay, and then I use the same product, but with this small brush for my nose contour. And for this, I just, like, where my nose bends, like, right here, I just put one line across, but not all the way across. Like, mainly focused in the middle like that and then where the shadows on the sides of my nose are I'll put two slight lines not all the way up just right here connecting to that line and then I take a little bit and go up from my nostrils and then connect the lines from my nostrils with lines right here straight up into that line across the middle that was a lot of words. And I take a little bit and I go from the shadows right here into my brow bone, but I don't blend it down. And then once this brush has like no product left on it, I'll like slightly blend out those lines, but not like dragging them up. Like I mostly just blend them where they are. And then I take this brush, the fluffier side, same brush, and I just Go like this, but again, not blending it down, just up. And then I'll just kind of run it over these areas. And then I take my finger and go over the same areas. And then I do the highlights of my nose contour with the NYX Jumbo Stick in Milk. And I'll just do like a slight line right here near the top. That was not centered, that's okay. And then blend that out with my finger. And then I do a little, little teeny tiny line across the tip of my nose. Horizontal. And then I blend that out with my pinky and I try to make sure that it stays in one spot and I'm not like blending it out. And then you guessed it, we're hitting her again with this. Actually, wait, I always forget. I take this brown eyeliner again, it's just a random one, LA Colors. And I make a little line right here. 
and on the bottom. Does this look insane? Yes. And then I blend it out with my fingers to give the illusion of like a shadow. Does it kind of make me look like I have a mustache? A little bit. Does it kind of look like my filler migrated? A little bit. That's okay though. Because I like the way it looks. I like the effect it gives. And when my whole thing is done at the end, it looks better, I swear. Okay, now we hit it with this. The blush I use is powder, so I always do my blush after powder because I feel like when I do it before powder, it like... Uh, just waiting for this to dry and then we're gonna do powder. Look at these cute star clips I got at the dollar store. I wanted them not in these colors. Like, maybe just, like, regular silver. Or, like, black and white. But this is cute, too. This is fun. I need to add more color to my wardrobe because I'm always only wearing black. So that should be fun. I forgot. Hang on. I usually take, like, this rent. I actually don't know. I think this might be ColourPop, but it's just, like, a white, like, pen eyeliner. And I'll just take it. And I have, like, these creases under my eyes, like, right here. Like, especially when I smile. Like, right here. So, like, in the very center of that where the highlight is, I sometimes just put, like, a little bit of this. I don't know, I feel like it makes my eyes look bigger, which is probably not true. I need to clean my makeup brushes so fucking bad. Like, desperately. I don't know that this is dry enough to do powder yet, but I'm impatient, so I'm gonna do it anyway and possibly ruin my entire look. Today, basically, I'm now gonna bake under my eyes and, like, right here. So all I do is I just, like, put an excessive amount on here and then I'll blow on it and then tap up the side of my nose and then underneath my eye. And I just do that on both sides. And then I tap the ex the excess, Jesus, like near my nose because that place always gets like oily really fast for me, I feel like. Okay, and then I do the same thing, just get like an excess amount and then I tap it like just right here, just right there on both sides. And then I'm just again gonna use the excess on like the rest of my face. My forehead is always super oily. I'm just gonna let this sit for like a minute. Not very long because I feel like if I leave it on too long then it ruins it. Sometimes I take this brown eyeliner and just draw lines like here and here. Like so. Um, and then I'll blend it out. But I'm gonna blend out my bake first because I feel like, again, if I leave it on too long it's scary. This one again. And just blend out the weird line that I have here. Okay, now we're gonna do blush. I just use, I want a different one that's not powder. But I don't, I haven't tried very hard to find one. But this is the Maybelline Fit Me blush in, I don't know what shade it is actually. I'm just gonna take this random brush, it looks like this, swirl it around in here a couple times, tap, and then just go crazy with it. Everyone always says that blush is like the first part of your makeup that fades. And again, I just believe makeup advice I hear on the internet. So I kind of go crazy with it at first because I know it's gonna calm itself down. And I just kind of, I'm super messy with it. It's just like kind of this whole area. And sometimes if I have excess on my brush, I just like put it on this part of my forehead. I don't know why, nobody told me to do that. Sometimes I'll add like some fake freckles on exactly where my little nose contour is right here. Like exactly in that spot, I don't go outside of it. Cause then it's kind of just like enhancing the contour with the freckles and giving me cute fake freckles. I get real freckles in this spot in the summer, but they're really faded and then when I put on makeup, you can't really see. Like I get them like all over my nose, but I like to make it so you can see some of them in this exact spot. But then, speaking of fake, fake marks, I go back in with my, the thing I use for my eyebrows, the lift and snatch, and I give myself fake beauty marks. Usually just three of them in those general spots. Oh god, I just drew on myself, it's fine. For eyelashes, if I'm not wearing my like DIY lash extensions, I often will just do nothing to my eyelashes because my eyelashes are like super straight and not very long. And so it's just like, it feels useless to do anything to them. Cause like it doesn't last and I'm always like, what's the point? But for the sake of this video, I will show you what I do on days that I do do things to them. I put my eyelash curler in my armpit to warm it up. 
This eye is always so much harder to do than this one. I don't know why, but curling the eyelashes on this eye is like impossible. I think it's because my eyes are two different shapes. And something about the eyelashes on this eye, like they just never completely curl. Like the ones that are on the edge, like, I don't know. I will not be curling my eyelashes on camera because I don't do it often and I look stupid doing it and I don't know what I'm doing and so it won't be much of a tutorial for you. It'll just be embarrassing for me. Okay, and then when that eyelashes, uh, those eyelashes are curled, I do it one eye at a time so that the curl doesn't fall while I'm doing one eye. And then I just put mascara on like the ends of my lashes because I feel like if I put it on the bases it like weighs the curl down. Again, somebody told me that once. And by somebody I made a video on the internet. Oh, this is the LA Colors mascara by the way. Again, I'm not loyal to a brand or certain mascara. I don't really like this brush though, like the applicator. It's a bit too thick. A bit too wide. Okay, that's one eye. And we're going to curl the other one, which always curls so much better, and I don't know why. Ta-da! Not much of a difference. <laughs> and then while I'm waiting for that to dry, because I might do another coat, and I also just am going to add a little more eyeliner, like, and whatnot. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to do my lips. And I take, this is not the cap to this. The cap to it fell off, and so I had to put another random cap on it. But it's the e.l.f. lip liner in whatever their brown shade is. And I just um, really lightly line the very outside. I can't talk while I do this. I don't really overline them. Sometimes I do um, on the very top, like near my cupid's bow, like this part of my lips, but not a lot. I follow like the actual shape of my lip. Then I'll make the spots like near my cupid's bow darker. And do the bottom line. I have a double lip line, so doing my bottom lip always pisses me off. So then it looks like this, which does look crazy, don't worry. Then I take my finger and I just tap. And then it looks like this, and then I'm going to put more on it at the end, but we're going to go back to the eyes. They look kind of okay mascara-wise, so I don't think I'm going to add another coat. Um, but then I'm going to take my eyeliner pencil out again and just make sure that the inner, like, part of my eye, like right here at the top, is darker. Okay. And then... I feel like I'm forgetting this step, but I don't think so. Oh, this is the e.l.f. lip oil in... Rose Envy. Okay, and then we're done, I think. Okay, and then I do obviously very desperately need to fix my hair and change my outfit. But my makeup is done, and my hands are always covered in makeup by the time I'm done. Please ignore that. Please ignore that. Oh, I forgot. Usually when I'm doing makeup videos, I give like a little disclaimer being like, I am not a makeup artist. I do not know what I'm doing in any way, shape, or form. Don't clown me too hard, because I'm not telling you to do this, and I'm not saying that I know what I'm doing. It's just for fun. It's just how I like to do my makeup. But I hope maybe you enjoyed it. Anyway, I'm gonna go drink more coffee and get on with my day, because now my makeup is done, and I'm good to go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next Monday.